Hey viewers, what is going on? This is Lord Panda here, and well, today is a great day. It's the day before Thanksgiving, and it's today is the day of Hanukkah. I don't celebrate it personally. I'm not Jewish, but uh, some people might. So, uh, happy holidays for you guys. And tomorrow is Thanksgiving, uh, so I say uh, so. I'm gonna be saying my grace tomorrow. I might make a video. Uh, so yeah, it'll be pretty fun. Anyways, uh, I'm this is, video is also very special because well, I gained I recently gained one thousand one thousand views and thirty plus subscribers, and that, that's mind blowing because uh, I only had twenty seven subscribers a few days ago, and then I just rose up five subscribers. No, twenty six subscribers I think. So I rose up six subscribers, which is a good amount for me. And I'm very proud of that. And I hope I can keep getting subscribers because that would be awesome. But in order to gain subscribers, I need to make a video. So here is my new video. It's going to be double be about double piston extenders. This is also my tenth redstone slash command block video. So that's also a new special thing for me and uh, hopefully for you guys. Anyways, so what a double piston extender is for those who don't know it. Um, extends the block two blocks outwards and then it retracts the block to the original position like so this is the horizontal one that I created myself and why there's no redstone that are showing is because everything is underground this has to be a solid block in order for this redstone torch to power up to the to these um, sticking pistons this is the 240 system uh, Mumbo Jumbo Jumbo makes a great video about it, so check him out. Uh, so it's two ticks, four ticks, and then redstone dust running into the uh, the redstone torch. Now I'm gonna cover that up, and let's go to the vertical horizontal one. So as you can see, it extends and then uh, retracts. Super compact. This is actually more compact than uh, the recent Mumbo Jumbo's uh, vertical double piston extender, and uh, I feel I feel like I accomplished something because he is my favorite uh, redstone guy and consultant that I go to whenever I have a problem with redstone. Anyways, you want to make a tower like that with the red uh, with your sticky pistons. That's going to be your double piston extender that extends and retracts. This is going to be your mono stable circuit. So. You can use the normal block for that. It does not need to be your extended block, your extension block. So you want to make something like this. Repeater here that's going to get to this block, and a repeater here that is going to get to this block that is going to power this sticky piston as well. Two ticks here, and this is going to uh, create your bottle stable circuit. Create a tower like that with a redstone torch here. Delete this block, and then. Uh, extend this out here and then place a block on top of this by shift right clicking onto the Peter or just or actually just <laughs> place the block right next to that well anyways sorry uh, Peter here redstone there block here with a redstone on top this is going to power this repeater set this repeater to three ticks and this should create your double piston extender it retracts well and it extends well okay great this is your downward double piston extender this is definitely the most compact i don't see how you can get more compact than this it's so small ah oh, i love it and i uh made this uh a long time ago i haven't made a video about it i was going to but i never got around to it till now so you want to start off with your two sticky pistons that are facing downwards obviously then you want to sort of make something like this. I always think this looks like uh, like some kind of dragon or dinosaur looking thing. Get your redstone torch, delete this block, replace it with a redstone torch, and then place your redstone torch on top of this. Your switch is going to be powering it to this block here, so put your switch there. And then in order to depower this block as well as depower this at the same time, you're going to need to get your only redstone that you ever need in this, bit, in this build. And place it right there and then your repeater here set that to two ticks and then your sticky piston with your block on top 
and then a block next to that sticky piston this creates your model simple circuit and this is set to three ticks running into a block like so and this should retract and extend beautifully now this is another horizontal double piston extender that works just like that one over there except for the torch is not on top it's actually on the side now this does not have to be a solid block this can be a transparent block if you so choose to make it that or it doesn't have to be a block at all if you're wondering so it works great but for now I just put those blocks there to cover it up and now this is the one where it's against the wall oops I meant to stop all right there it's against the wall and it works awesome awesomely and it's using the 240 system uh you can have your switch here that's why i had this had this line over here but oh it's a repeater make sure you do not power the redstone from here because what happens is uh then it does not power this block so make sure you do not do that and make sure you do it like this and it should work yep and it looks really nice to me so Let's go ahead and check a look at my uh, vertical double piston extender that's against the wall. So it extends outwards and then it retracts like that. And the only reason why I have a redstone block right here is because well, how things work is uh, when you power a block, it sort of temporarily makes the block into a redstone block. So to make a double piston extender, uh, you need to use the redstone blocks. Uh, no, you don't need, sorry. Using redstone blocks, it'll look sort of like this. And then, like that. So. Oh yeah, but uh, let me tell you a little something about redstone blocks. They don't power blocks that are diagonally below it. It always powers blocks that are directly next to it. So, that's why uh, you have to have a block. You have to power this block, and then you have to power the block behind this piston. Uh, to make your extension. And then this block, there's no way to power this block without having to destroy this. So uh, I decided to use sticky piston with a block right here, with the redstone block right here that gets pushed over here. This is going to create your, you say like, I don't know, model stable circuit thing. Now I guess you can have this ex um, extended outwards when this gets extended. And this can get more a little bit more compact, but well, it looks a little nicer this way, so that's why I did it with the circuit. And the same thing goes with the downward double piston extender. I did the exact same thing. It's really compact. I actually tried to compact this one. That one not so much. So this one just looks really nice. Now, my last couple things. Uh, it's really so sick. Is Double extender where nothing is next to it, and how this is going to work is these sticky pistons are going to extend the block outward by using the same two four zero system. So let's check it out. It works nice and fine, but however, when you go to the vertical one, it doesn't work just like that because, well, because of the physics and because the stone blocks are just really annoying. Yeah, that's what happens now. Now, remember what I said about how blocks shouldn't diagonally, the rest of the blocks shouldn't diagonally power a block? Well, well, I guess I was wrong. Now, it doesn't because you have to have, you have to make a, it doesn't for, I don't know. I mean, you have to, you have to give it a update or it won't or it won't update it so that's what I bet over there when I said that it doesn't uh, power directly diagonally anywho uh, this is how I had to accomplish it where it retracts the blocks and then and it extends the block outwards uh, so it looks like that and then right here when this retracts 
This is going to retract the two redstone blocks, and this is going to come out with the redstone block. The middle piston is going to push out, uh, and it's going to power the monosable circuit that's going to retract the block. And that's going to finish the retraction, and everything is set uh, back to uh, the original position. So like that. Now, it is fairly large, and yes, if you want to, you can go ahead and compact it. Now, my last and final one. It's a little bit crazy. There's nothing around it. And let's check out how this is working. So, it works just like any double piston extender. It just using it gets powered like so. And then, and it's something like that. Anyways, uh, you I'm using set block commands using command blocks. And then down here, it is replacing block the redstone block with air and that's how I'm accomplishing it okay well <laughs> that was a long video thank you for watching this was Lord Panda please subscribe rate comment share this is the only reason why I'm doing it is because I can have a community and uh, it's just really fun to have a community and if you can share my videos the community can grow and um, yeah hope you enjoy my videos I hope I'm not like making my videos worse and worse every time I'm doing it, making them because uh well I, get, I think I already did double piston extender video already uh but I just wanted to expand on uh, the double piston extender and just like go over some of the cool things you can do with it and all these double piston extenders that I just showed you were all my creation I haven't seen any of these on the internet if I am wrong please uh Put a video, uh, well actually you can't do a video response. Well, link me to it, however, like, get it to the Facebook page, go to my channel, and then click on the fa little Facebook icon, and you'll get to my Facebook page, link it there. Um, also, I do live stream of survival, so if you want to see me do survival, go to my live stream, and you'll be seeing me do some survival stuff. So, thank you for watching, and... Yeah, that's all I have for today. Well, I might make a video tomorrow, so stay tuned for that.